Gamers. Hello again, gamers. Welcome back for another episode of Rocking Battletech. I'm the board game captain. I'm Alex. And we're going to talk about the state of the game of Battletech with a lot of the cool new optional rules and cool new stuff coming out from Catalyst Game Labs for Battletech. So I've played a few games uh, with a lot of the new optional rules that I really like, and I was just introducing Alex to it, who mm -hmm. has played a lot of games previously with the classic rules. Right. But this was your first game with using the Mech Warriors and the um, also the Lance and Star abilities. Yeah, yes? the, the abilities, yeah, and, and the specific pilots, yeah. So we uh, we recorded that, and I should have filmed, I should hopefully have been able to, as long as all the footage came out okay, I should have been able to edit a full battle report. Uh, I'm not sure which one of these videos is going to be up first, but... Look around for it. Uh, it should be up on my channel uh, either shortly before or shortly after this video. Um, but so I wanted to talk about some of the great stuff Catalyst Games Labs have been doing for Battletech. Because Battletech, mm. for, the, for the longest time, it, it remained, regardless of who had the IP, had remained fairly unchanged for decades. In incremental things, maps, you know, uh, different data sheets but yeah the, the rules had been essentially the same right? and the models too i mean the new the models have been great yeah but the new models the new models are are, are very much improved yeah. from the old models in my opinion so first off first, yeah first of all let's talk about the models so the new models are like i never felt the need to paint battletech models until the new models because they're <laughs> right. so cool yeah. the new models are gorgeous they're solid they are they're they're solid plastic mm -hmm. they're really well done um I think they're head and shoulders above a lot of the previous versions they have replaced in regard to the models. I really like. What were your thoughts on the on the new models? You got to play with the Lance of the new models that I had painted up. What, what did you think of their? Yeah, they're 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 beautiful. I mean, you painted them really really well. They're, oh well, thank you. Did a good job on them. So they look they look awesome. If you watch the the uh, battle report, you'll see how I, I think that the Diamond Shark uh, Clan Diamond Shark uh, Mex came up pretty awesome. I think you did a great job. But yeah, they're like you said, they're worthy of paint. They're worthy of spending time on. They're uh, and so that's a huge... High, yeah, they're high quality. They're really nice. That's a huge plus. Yeah. That's a huge plus over the old Max. Um, now, let's talk about a couple of the options. The two big optional rules. The big ones, yeah. and I've been talking about these in a lot of my Grokking Battletech episodes. So the big optional rules that I really like and I've been really enjoying uh, playing uh, with, with regardless of who I'm playing them with, just really like them are one, the formation abilities, mm -hmm. and two, using the unique Mech Warriors. Mm -hmm. Right. So for the formation abilities, uh, this came out in the clan box set uh, rulebook. They have the abilities. You you have to make your lance or star based on certain rules, usually involving weight classes as well as roles. And all the right. new PDFs will tell you, you know, what their role is. Are they a missile boat? Are they a skirmisher? Right, right, right. Uh, what what is their their role? And if you make them based on the role, you get cool abilities. Like one of the one of my favorites is there's uh, the Battle Lance or Battle Star lets you get six re rolls through the game, which is huge. Right. And that I mean that makes your mechs much more accurate. In addition, yes. the Fire Star is a different lance. The Fire Star Fire Lance mm. lets you have the difficulty for medium and long range. So a uh, medium right. range goes from plus two difficulty to only plus one. Yes. And long range goes from plus four to plus two. And then and then it's like. Yeah, that's pretty. It's it's pretty incredible, actually. That's that that's that changes the game significantly, especially when you're playing with so many mechs. And the command lance lets you do that thing where you can you can move, shoot, and do melee before your enemy even moves. But you have to take a damage to your mech warrior. Oh yeah, to right. Do it. Right. There's uh, also uh, command lance lets you re-roll initiative every round. Yep. yep. There's a lot of really cool abilities out there. Yeah. It, it, uh, they're like little little hacks like on top of the game. It's pretty cool. And you get to maintain the ability as long as the Lancer or Star has at least three mechs alive. Right. Right. And then, as a smaller thing, you can use the Mech Warrior. And if you use uh, Mech Warriors, each player gets to pick one Mech Warrior for the Force. They give it to one of their, their mechs. Mm -hmm. It ups their stats. It also gives them ability. You agree on the cost you're playing. Like when we played our game, we were playing three cost mech warriors. Right. Which is uh, fairly low, but they, they go all the way up to six mm -hmm. possible costs. And then your opponent gets to up their stats based on the stats of your mech warrior to one of their mech warriors. So basically each of you gets one mech warrior who has better stats and, and abilities. And one other mech warrior that has upped their stats, their gunnery and, and piling skill equal to your opponent's mech warriors you both right. you get two deadlier mech warriors when you play with mech warriors which i think makes the game more fun because it makes two of your mech warriors significantly more lethal 
Yes, and you know, clearly you're gonna put those on your better mechs and mm -hmm. but it, it does change the strategy of it because now you're gunning for what would be a typically a harder mech to kill because yeah. you want to You want to drop the mech warrior. Drop that mech warrior because yeah. they're and some of the some of the abilities are, are so this is a this is a cost one card. So this is one of the cheaper cards, the cheapest card. Uh, but the 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 Oh uh, you showed the wrong side. Oh I'm sorry. This is the cost one right here. That's the uh, Ability is human TRO. You get to add a plus one modifier when rolling on the critical hits table, which is a great ability. Which is actually really good. And that's just a, that's cost one. But there's it is, some higher cost guys that have that along with some other abilities. Right. And so if you go to like a cost five card, you're gonna have uh, the abilities. This guy's got uh, using the cluster hits table for successful long long range missile attack. You get to roll a plus four for short range, plus three, and plus two for long or extreme. That's amazing, right? And then your another one is a weapon specialist with your large laser. You get a large laser. You get a negative two to hit when you're attacking with that weapon. So, it it changes both the stats and then the special abilities can actually really kind of alter the game, especially when you give guys sniper or that command ability. So, it's yeah, a lot. It's it it, may, it does make a difference. It sure. really does. Um, I played a game with uh, one of my other friends um, where we were using higher cost mech warriors. Mm -hmm. And he had a mech warrior who had like a gunnery skill of one while also using the lance ability to give him the the rerolls. Re and yeah. he, he did not miss any shots all game. Yeah. Because it's like if you combine them right mech warrior with right lance ability, it can be nuts. It can be absolutely insane. You can do crazy damage. Um, and I think that's freaking awesome. I really like that. I like uh, the variety of abilities. These are... It's a huge stack. Yeah, this yeah. is a big stack of mech warrior cards I have, and I don't even have them all. Yeah. I just have a lot, and there's a lot of them, and they're all double sided. Is that from three three boxes? It's a lot of stuff. I got the, well, so so I got you get mech warrior cards in the two basic starter boxes, the 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 clan invasion box, and then all of the lance and star boxes. Mm. I have picked up um, all at this point at the time of this recording all but two of the lance boxes for the inner sphere. I picked up um, both of the the com guard boxes for Comstar, and I picked up I think three of the boxes for the clans. So I've got I've got a quite a number of mech warriors, but there's still plenty more out there mm -hmm. I don't have. And there's lots of great abilities, lots of great combinations of abilities, plus all the different boosts and stats to be had. And I do feel like boosting the stats and the abilities of the mech warriors combined with the lance ability just makes the game well. One, it makes it faster. Yeah. And two, it makes it more fun. It does. It makes it more fun. And you can build your your lance or your star, and for, to the point value of the game, and then agree on the point yeah. value of the cards or the uh, the different the different uh, command ability. And it doesn't change the point value of your of your max. So no. it's just you agree to what, you know, one guy put, you know, either one player picks one and then the other one matches that ability yeah. or you agree to which which you want to do. And you don't have to redo all your max and it does change the game like real time as you're picking them. So it's kind of a it's a neat thing to do without having to do a lot of homework. Yeah, so I do I definitely want to say I am a big fan of what Catalyst Games Lab Catalyst Game Labs is doing with the um these new abilities i think these new abilities are a move in the right direction in modernizing battletech i think they've done a great job in um in modernizing battletech with these more modern mechanics mm. um it, it does a great job in helping you to customize your forces and um yeah i'm i'm, I'm very excited about continuing to play lots more in fact i think these optional rules have significantly increased my regard for Battletech. Battletech's always been a game I loved. I would say it's slowly gone down because of how it kind of stagnated over a long time. Mm -hmm. But now, with these, I think I've gone up. Like, I I think before they introduced these, I think I had gone down to an 8, which is still very high, but it was just, it had slowly yeah. dropped. I think now I'm like 9.5. Yeah, it was like, that's how high. much I, I shot up with, right. with all these new rules. It was showing its age, you know. It's like the, it's... You got You got You got to work on some of this stuff. Everything's getting better and yeah. more interesting, and I think they did a good job. So now, one thing I want to talk about, like what else I would like to see. And so, first off, with the Mech Warrior cards, I just want to see more, more Mech Warrior cards. I hope they come out with with more new Mech packs and more new Mech Warrior cards. The more, the merrier, because the variety is great, and I love constant increase in variety of these. It's in all these cards, they have like a backstory for the mech warrior. Yeah. Which, which is kinda it's fun. I actually kind of played into it a little bit in my in my game. The, the, yes. Using the backstory to kind of make a make a decision when I 
I wasn't really sure which way to go, so I used the backstory because it was supplied and it's kind of fun. Yeah. And then um, the other thing is, so the, the Lance and Star abilities, the formation abilities, mm -hmm. um, I want more of them. They're only a handful. There's like six or seven in the um, in the Clan Invasion rulebook that came mm -hmm. in the Clan Invasion box. I want more. And now they just they just came out with a new version of Total Warfare, and they're not in there. So, which I have to feel have, has to be intentional. Um, I would figure yeah. they must be making it another product that's going to have all of them listed. I would like to see, this is what I would love to see. I would like to see a deck of cards mm -hmm. with Lance slash star abilities, and I want to see a lot more. Okay, so instead of pulling them out of the rule book, you can just you can, you you put, can a pull, card down. put a card down. Yeah, Yeah, and I want to see a lot more abilities. I can think of some. You ready? You ready? I have some ideas. Go for it. Okay. So I've got, uh, so this is uh, an idea I have. I think we could do the use of C3 networks as Lancer star abilities because using C3 oh, networks, right, right. as awesome as they are, um, they cause such a huge yeah. increase in battle value right. that it's tough to fit them in because you're like, oh man, I'm going to really have to cut back on my battle value and then yeah. figure out how, you know, how much to increase it. Why not just do them as Lance and Star abilities? Do a regular C3 network where mm -hmm. it's like you have to have one C3 master computer and everyone else has a C3 slave unit and then you can you can get the benefits of the C3 computer as long as you have three or more mechs and as long as you don't lose the C3 master computer. Right. And then for the C3 improved, the C3i, mm -hmm. uh, just say you have a a Lance uh, or, or formation of at least three units mm -hmm. and they all have the C3 improved computer, the C3i computers, and you get the C3i ability. There you go. I think that would be really awesome. Okay. okay. Also, I would love to see one that cater to quad max, a formation having something to do with quad max, <laughs> uh, maybe allowing them to um, to do the lateral shifts to the front for only one movement point. If you have yeah. at least three of the mechs in the formation there, or quads, there are there are cards that do you can do lateral movement stuff. There are yes. movement abilities on, a, on the mech warriors, but yeah, I can see that there is, allowing your whole lance or your whole there's a lance to do that. there's a lance ability that lets you get lateral movement. I'd like to see one that oh. cheapens. The movement for um, quads for quads, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I think I think um, I think that'd be pretty awesome. What do you think? Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, and I think there's there are so many different components of the game that you can. Yeah, I mean, the rule book is huge. It always has been. So you can any any one of those things you can put into there. You can yeah, ground forces, uh, anything. Yeah. So bottom line, do these rule are, are these rules? I mean, I I feel like they're awesome. I feel like they make me want to play more. I feel like I want to see more. What are your yeah. thoughts? Yeah, they're better for sure. Like I said, it, like we said at the beginning, it took it's taken some as good as as BattleTech is. It's taking some pretty stale uh, gameplay and injecting something new into it, which yes. can't you can't go wrong. I mean, you know, not not all of these are like awesome, but they're all interesting at least, and it changes things. So you're gonna you're gonna find it more interesting so there you have it that's our two cents on the current state of the game with these new rules that are pretty awesome i say new they've been around for a little bit at this point but new ish uh let us know in the comments down below what you guys think of the formation abilities as well as the the mech warrior cards um and if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to comment down below if you enjoyed this video and would like to see us do more uh videos like this feel free to give it a like Share it on all forms of social media. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Board Game Captain. That's Captain spelled with a K on YouTube. And until next time, game, game on. on.